movies and television and should choke them. Hi, my name is Gwen, here comes the hiss, and I'm one of the people who didn't pay the band last year. <laughs> All right, hi, my name is Gwen, and I live in a male-dominated world of music. Hi, my name is Gwen, and I'm a voting member of the Recording Academy of Arts and Sciences. They make that little thing every year called the Grammy, and they hand it out to people. All right. And I'm telling you all this stuff now, one, because I'm totally intimidated by all the other ladies that like said their stuff. <laughs> and two, because I only have 15 minutes of time, there's this little clock behind me, and if you want my life story, buy me a cocktail, I'll let you know it. Okay? What I do is I work in showbiz. <sighs> God help me. And I work in showbiz as far as music with a lot of men. Is this doing it for me too? I work with a lot of men. A lot of men. A lot of men. And for the men that are here today, right on dudes. All right? There's so <laughs> I mean, there is so much pheromones popping in this room, and there you are going, I'm a proud would-be man. <laughs> Way to go. I work, in, I work in the music industry. I produce CDs. I find music for toothpaste and sitcoms and movies. All right, and chichokum, but we've already had that discussion. I walk into studios where people go, uh, like, if you're with the band, you're going to have to wait outside. All right? Or if you're with the band, you like can't come in here. Or once they find out I'm not with the band, it's, Ooh, that's a really expensive mic. Do you know how to use that? <laughs> or do you know what an XLR cable is? Because if you don't. Now, not all engineers talk this way, but I figure we have a stigma there that you know, I might as well work with. <laughs> and I do have a certain amount of guilty pleasure of walking in and saying, no. I'm not with the band, I'm the producer. Now, if anybody who's been in a recording studio knows, the producer's the boss. And there's nothing more fun than watching that engineer go, oh, cool. <laughs> and when you say something like, yes, I do know what an XLR cable is, and yes, I do know this mic, they don't ask you again, so it's really okay. Now, there's been a couple times where working in show business has been awesome. And that's what I want to talk about today. In fact, there's going to be one word I'm going to use a lot, passion. Because Diana and Rainy, they were like, we're going to try and find your passion. <laughs> so my passion is music. Do you guys know what your passion is? Did you come here to find it? <laughs> we'll talk about that, too. Because, you know. <laughs> Some of you people are getting kind of up there. You should figure it out sooner or later. <laughs> so there's a couple times where I loved the music industry. I was in studio not too long ago with a bunch of kids. And when I say kids, the oldest was 17, the youngest was 11. Now mine are all grown. Hi, Katie. <laughs> so it's been a long time since I've remembered that age group, all right? And they were all in studio, and they were crashing. They were crashing big time. Everybody, there was no I in team, but they all forgot that. My instrument's the most important instrument. I'm the songwriter. I'm the most important. I'm the lead singer. I'm the most important. I'm the guitarist. I'm way the most important. So it was time for me to love my passion, which is helping people make music. And it was time for them to remember their passion. See that word? Which is finding the teamwork and enjoying making their music. So into the studio I went. Now this studio is a place called Glen Sound in Seattle. Huge, big room. And all these guys were in there together. First thing I did was say, all right, everybody put down your instruments and switch instruments with someone else in the band. <laughs> they were like, OK, because remember, I'm the producer. Yeah. And then we replayed the song. Wow, it sucked. <laughs> it was awful. It was, yeah. 
Anyhow, oh my God, I'm up to 10? And you're giving me 15? Come on, nine? Christ. All right, so basically, make it really, really fast. They all switched instruments, and it was really, really awful. And then I stood in the middle of the room and said, now it's time. Oh, and I've got, and this poor woman's trying to keep up with me. <laughs> so basically, I have got to slow down and speed up. Wow. <laughs> so, getting back to these kids. All right, so we got them back on their own instruments. And guess what? They were really pretty darn good. And all of a sudden, they started to listen to each other. And I got to sit in the middle and conduct. And I love conducting. Because then, all I'm doing is I'm keeping the beat. Uh, exactly, I'm telling you, it's awesome. I'm going to keep the beat, and away you're going to go. And you are going to find out the magic that is music. Dana talked about that earlier, right? There's a rhythm. And when you get out of your own way, and you feel the passion of that rhythm, oh, it's better than just about anything. All right? Now, there was another story that just came up last night. I'm getting music for this movie, for this movie down in Santa Monica. It's real Blood, guts, rock and roll kind of thing. That's a testosterone. And I was officially told last night <laughs> that my music was too girly. <laughs> I know! <laughs> I'm too girly. <laughs> so this was okay. You kind of let your ego go over here. And you come back because my passion is a great soundtrack for this director. It's my passion. It's what I love to do. I love to find music. But you know what, Mr. Director? What kind of music you like? And so we had a great conversation until the wee hours of this morning where he sent me all kinds of music. And you know what? His music was really cool. And we had this mind meld about music. And then he took some of his rough cuts and put some of my girly stuff with it. And guess what? Well, my girly stuff's going to make it in the movie after all. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. So the music industry is really, it, it may have a lot of testosterone, but it's up to you and how much you want it to affect you. Clancy and I work at the same radio station. I don't hold him being a guy against him. <laughs> See, he's right there behind that camera. It is up to you to see through your passion, to see it through, to be alive with it, to be alive from it. Who cares if you're with the band? Who cares if they think you're with the band? Who cares if they don't think you know how to use a cable? Does it matter? It's time to think from the end. My passion is music, so thinking from the end means I want a great soundtrack. I want a great album. There is nothing. I feel more passionate about, see, passion, than hearing somebody embrace their passion. I feel passionate about passion. <laughs> so, I asked the question, did you guys come here to find your passion? Do you know what your passion is? Is it cooking? Is it skydiving? Is it the arts like me? If it is, God help you. <laughs> the arts is kind of a funny thing. Because the arts, we basically make money in the arts off of other people's opinion about our art. Did you get that? Have you ever been around somebody who says, ah, you're too fat, you're too old, you're too skinny, you're never going to make any money at that, that costs way too much money. And this is your passion they're talking about. I have people that send me their passion on a daily basis. Hence that wheelbarrow. You see, sorry. This is filled. In fact, Dana, one of your CDs is even in here. This is literally filled with, oh, these guys were good, people who have sent me CDs. I listen on average about 20 hours a week to CDs. Some of them really suck. Some of them are awesome. Luke and 
the Lovingtons. They're awesome. Let's see, uh, uh, Will West, great guy. So these people send me their passion and ask me for my opinion. Ouch. For the record, I'm a singer too. So I go out there and get my art judged. Yeah. I love it. What do you mean you didn't like it? <laughs> OK? So here's what you do. If you honestly feel passionate about something, because I have four minutes, and I could go on for 24 minutes. <laughs> so we're going to cut to the end. Just imagine I did all this funny stuff and you laughed. Ready? <laughs> Good. Excellent. Glad you all came. What we're here to find out today, or what my 15 minutes of fame on this stage is for, is to remind you that whatever your passion is, never use a reviewer or a stigma to stop you from doing your passion. OK? In a male-dominant music world, I kick ass. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I review all these CDs, sorry, <laughs> and I never forget this is somebody's passion. Just to let you know, to make an average price of a CD, and I'm not going to argue with numbers here, but about the average price to design it, to record it, to distribute it, anywhere from five to $10,000, depending on what you're doing. Now, uh, and I'm sure you can do it cheaper. Come on. I'm sure somebody's out there going, uh -uh. I'm saying the average. You can look it up on the Academy website, OK? <laughs> All right, that means somebody spent that amount of money, and they sent me this for free. <laughs> oh, for me to judge it and decide if their passion is good enough to sell toothpaste. <laughs> I mean, let's think about that. Crazy. Or maybe they'll be in the next movie. Or maybe they'll be a chichokum. I don't know. What we're going away with is if I'm going to leave you, God, I only got two minutes. Come on, you're making me skip ahead again. OK, it was really funny again. Ha, 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 ha. <sighs> See, somebody's laughing. Are you up with me? You good? You all caught up? Cool. I always wonder if you actually say what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't you ever think, like, that chick is really, woo. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Boy, it's funny, huh? Yeah! How do you swear in sign language? <laughs> oh. We all know the universal web, but this is being recorded for Whippy Telecom. <laughs> Anyhow, now I only have one minute. See, if I wasn't up here messing around, here's my thought. The Grammys this year, women, 15% of the Grammy nominations this year were for women. OK? I'm not talking about the singers. I'm talking about writers, producers, engineers, 15%. That rocks. All right? Now, give an applaud to that. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Number two, you're responsible for your own passion. Find out what it is. Don't let a reviewer like me take it away from you. Hone it. Take my advice. Work with it. Feel passionate about your passion, whether it's skydiving, cooking, music, tap dancing, I don't care. But what you love is your passion. Never, ever lose it. If you find it here today, if it's something you've had since your birth, or if it's something you get until your dying day, I hope you get it. I hope it brings you joy and feel passionate about your passion. Thank you.